Boom. Got him. Got him. On the road again. Alrighty, let's fish. Howdy. What is up guys, welcome back. Doing something a little bit different today. We uh, got a 78 degree day. And it's gonna be very, very windy. As you guys can see, everything is a blowing. We're just kind of going on an in-town expedition, bouncing from lake to lake. This is our first lake. We think this one's gonna be pretty good, but we do have a backup one in mind. Targeting the old kitties today with uh, this uh, early in the year, high heat and high wind, about 35 mile an hour winds today. And it is 78 degrees like you guys saw, so. There's a lot of people. What was it, about a week ago, I think it snowed? Yeah, about a week ago we had snow, so it is very, very early in the year, and uh, that's gonna kinda be our game plan. Target them windy, shallow, muddy flats. Our target fish is the old kiddies, but lots of times with this wind humming in and this high heat early in the year, brings in all the fish, so. It's a blowing, that's for sure. I think you go like from here or that way. Yeah, I got the wind going straight across here. Yeah, this big shallow flat. Should be good. All right, on the agenda today, we're rolling with the ball of dead minnows. We got some wives that I froze. And we got the prime time early spring catfish bait. The old shad sides. Oh my gosh, those smell. Oh. First on the agenda, the old minnow balls. It's actually got a fairly hard ground. Not very deep back in here, but that's what we're targeting. The nice little shallows with this muddy flat. All right, rocking with the old oil wife. Not very far, but that's all it takes. And then walk her back. I got all four out. He walked down there to check out that little cove. He's got one right over there. He's got, oh, we got a fish on this one. Oh. Trying to walk out here. He's still running with it. Let him run with it a little bit. And then I'm gonna give him the bam. Got him. Not a bad fish, but not a drag puller. He's almost rolling like a blue. It's a channel. This was that minnow ball I just threw out. Not a bad channel. That's a good one. Yeah, real nice kitty. Pretty looking one. Look how big his tail is. He's got a giant tail. Real fat fish. All right, in the corner. They are up here feeding putting out that one and I looked over and this one was going hard. All right. There you go. Look at that. There you go. Later. All right, back at it with the minnow ball again. Don't have to go far when it's windy, shallow, and hot early in the year. Coming up for that warm water, coming up to feed, and the wind is what's making it happen. All right, turn the clicker back on. Very good. Another fish. Golly, this stuff will give you a workout though. Unless there's the wind, but I don't think so. Oh, Got him. I didn't even know if he was on there at first. I don't know what this is. Oh, no way. I just got a nice walleye. Would you look at that? Oh, that's a nice walleye right there. That is an eater. 
That's one cool thing about the Windy Shore trick. It doesn't just bring in the catfish, it brings in all the fish, but especially catfish. I wasn't even sure there's walleye still in this lake, and this is a nice walleye. I didn't think it was a cat once I was reeling it in. Look at that fish. That's a nice walleye right there. He gonna taste good, nice and fat. He swallowed it anyway, I think. Yeah, he done swallowed it. Probably 17 inches, maybe a little over. I know he's definitely over 15, so I'm good there. That is a nice, fat, healthy walleye right there. What? Oh yeah, I saw that. Nice. I only get a very big fish, I get the bass or a, a bullhead. Is it a bullhead? I think so. I think it's a bullhead. It is a bullhead. The wind brings up all the fish. Oh, it's a big, big bullhead. That's a big old fat guy. Look at that dude. Golly, look how fat he is. Your dad used to say that was the best eating fish. Bullhead? Yep, my dad loved him. Should we try it? Sure, a lot of guys love him. All right, we're gonna try some bullhead fillets while we're at it with the old walleye. Been since I was a kid, but we used to catch them, and my dad, who's gone now, just loved bullheads. I don't know how exactly I'm gonna cook them yet. I might make some tacos, I'm not sure, but we'll figure that out later. We used to cut the head off, the tail off, take the guts out, skin them, put them in a frying pan. Good work, old man. I, I was just gonna say, he ripped, ripped his pants. pants. We might have to put an edit on there. <laughs> XXX. <laughs> I saw that before it went out too. I saw it and then it clicked like three times. He was pulling that one a couple times. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's a nice channel. Yeah, nice looking channel. Yeah. About the same size as the last one. Real fat. All right. All right, nice four pound, five pound catfish. Yeah, good work, old man. Thank you. Try to get him out past, right here. They might go crazy now that the sun just went down. Let's see if I can get them out past the weeds. There he goes. Which one? That one? Yeah, I can see it going out now. Yep, I saw that. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, cat. About the same size. Same size? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about the same size. All right. Yeah, probably about... Four and a half, five pounder again. Yeah. Good work, old man. All right, where can I let you go, bud? Right out here. All righty, good work. Thanks, that was a lot of fun. We got some friends. Oh, they're eating a corn cob. Hey, guys. Oh, all right, have a good meal. All right, well, bam. Welcome to the 402 kitchen. We got the meat kind of moistening up right there. We got Scotty boy over there. Hello, and if you know me, you know I love my pickles, so we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Just doing something quick and easy, and a little bit of twist with it, with the old pickle juice, so. The uh, bullhead is a lot different color and texture of meat, so just making a nice little snack for a meal. Kinda soak in the pickle juice. So the walleye is gonna be first, then the old bullhead. Let it marinate for about five, 10 minutes. The one cool thing about the pickle juice with all the vinegar and stuff like that, then it gives it like a raw cook itself and it turns it white, so. All right, three minutes each side. Give her the old flip. Now, we're gonna soak the bullhead in the old pickle juice and let that marinate while that's finished cooking. Excuse me, sir. Lay down. That works too. All right. We got the bowl head marinating over there in the old pickle juice. Got some nice crispy taco nuggets. See, turned out pretty good. Bowl head time. Didn't do a ton of the bowl head meat, just enough for a taco or two. The old bowl head. All right, let it cook. Nice crispy bowl head. The old bowl head is done. Yeah, they're not too bad. We're gonna let it cool off and then we're gonna feast. Walleye first. All right, there you have it. Good job. Bueno. Oh yeah. I'm even gonna throw some bacon bits in there. Wanna try the old bullhead? Brave enough, I will. 
cheddar. Let me know about the bullhead. It's a little crispy, but it should be good. Oh, it's actually real white once you cook it. That's different. It's not bad though. Mm. Kind of like black and cafe. Mm -hmm. A little darker kind mm -hmm. of. Bueno? Good? good? I'm bad. It's not black and cafe. Huh. Alright, well, I'm gonna try the old walleye. Digging in time. The old walleye. Oh. Taco Bell style. There you have it. Nice fresh meal provided by the lake. Mm. That walleye's good. I'm gonna try the bullhead. Alright, bullhead time. We had a couple extra nuggets of walleye, so I threw them in there. I actually almost prefer this lettuce over the shredded lettuce, but teach them. Some cheddar and the old Taco Bell. Let's try her. Oh, bullhead ain't bad. It actually turned pretty white meat. Probably prefer the walleye over the bullhead, but kind of like you said, it's kind of like black and catfish. Yeah, tastes a little different. All in all, not a bad meal. Uh, definitely the walleye, it's tough to beat walleye, but the old bullhead wasn't that bad. I know some people uh, cook them different ways, like the old school ways, cut the head, cut the tail, take out the guts, throw the whole thing in the frying pan. Kind of like my dad mentioned, but I figured, you know what? We're gonna try the old fillets. I like making tacos and I love fish tacos. So I figured I was gonna do the old taco version. Turned out pretty good. Kind of like Scotty Boy said, kind of like a blackened catfish. Um, I did overcook it just a smidge. The pickle juice. The pickle juice, you, you could actually taste the pickle juice. It wasn't too much, just kind of a slight hint of something else. And, kids these days but uh yeah the pickle juice it was uh, it was actually kind of a good little twist to that so that's lunch provided by the lake for you even these cold weather uh kind of early in the year days you can still go out catch fish utilize that windy shore the old minnow balls gotta try them sometime yeah go 402 fishing slash kitchen we do have a pretty gnarly trip coming up we actually leave in the morning we got some cool stuff headed your way so definitely stay tuned hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next adventure have a good day